and a few more introductory ideas about fractions here. Uh, first, the terms proper and improper fractions, and these are good terms to know. In a, a lot of fractions, the numerator, the number on top, is smaller than the denominator, and that's the case in all of these. 2 is smaller than 3, 1 is smaller than 10, and 23 is smaller than 157. In any of those cases, we call the fraction a proper fraction. And that's the definition of a proper fraction. It's a fraction in which the numerator is smaller than the denominator. And in some fractions, the numerator is bigger. You see here 6 over 5. 6 is bigger than 5. And in all of these, the numerator is bigger or equal to. 8 here in the numerator is, of course, equal to 8. And whenever the numerator is larger or equal to the denominator, we call these improper fractions. And in this example, we're told to circle the proper fractions. So we would just circle all the ones where the number on top is smaller than the number on the bottom. So 3 is smaller than 4. 7 is smaller than 10. 7 over 7, this is an improper fraction. We're told here to circle the proper fractions, so we don't circle that one. When the numerator and denominator are the same, it's an improper fraction. 4 over 3. 4 is bigger, bigger number on top, that's an improper fraction. 2 over 3, though, that's a proper fraction, smaller number on top. And 8 over 6, that's an improper fraction. So there's your answer. And earlier, we were looking at fractions being represented as diagrams. We can represent improper fractions with diagrams, too. So take a look at these diagrams down here. Uh, think of this as two things. Here's one, here's another. And each of these squares is divided into four smaller squares. So the denominator is four. Remember, the denominator is the number of pieces something is divided into. And so how many are shaded? Well, we have one, two, three, four, five of these pieces shaded. So the fraction is five-fourths. And you can see that an improper fraction, where the number on top is bigger, represents more than one. This was one square, and then we have an additional piece of this second square. So it's a little bit more than one. In this one, we have three things. They're each divided into thirds. So the fact that it's split up into three smaller pieces, that gives us a denominator of three, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven thirds. So this diagram, the shaded part of this diagram, represents seven-thirds, each of these smaller rectangles being one-third. And over here, we have a circle that's divided into eight pieces, and all eight of them are shaded, so we just write that as eight-eighths. And again, that's an improper fraction. And then last of all, fractions with a denominator of one. You see the one underneath the fraction bar in all of these. This is a special type of improper fraction, and mathematically it's simply equal to the number in the numerator. So 6 over 1 is the same as 6, right? Equals 6 in your notes there. 100 over 1 is equal to 100. 3,872 over 1 is equal to 3,872. So any number over 1 is simply equal to that number. And we can express that idea as a general rule using a variable. So in your notes, you can write that a over 1 will always equal a. And that's true for any number a. So instead of a few specific examples, any possible example is expressed with this general general idea here. a over 1 is always equal to a. And remember the fraction bar just means division, so this is like saying any number divided by 1 is simply equal to itself.